welcome back to my channel everybody lady phantom here and uh i'm officially back from vacation by the way i have gotten a new mic i ordered it oh dad dad wake up <laughs> pretend to be dead uh pretend to be dead I let my tongue roll out of my mouth and stop breathing. Amanda shakes me. Come on, Dad. This hasn't worked on me since I was six. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. I'm sorry, Amanda. This is the end for me. Dad, I swear to God. Amanda, I bequeath to all of you my earthly possessions. Spread my ashes over my recliner. I should give them different voices. That makes, you know... Okay, well, your corpse better get into the moving van because it's leaving soon. I finally open my eyes and sit up. I'm lying in the middle of the living room, spooning a moving box. I yawn and stretch. Morning, Manda Panda. Yikes, Dad, breathe. Oh, breath. Go brush your teeth. I'm gonna make it my dream daddy. Oh. So, I have gotten a new microphone. And it was like $30, and my good friend McNasty recommended it for me, because my HyperX headset has not been the best for recording. So, I bought that, and I'm really enjoying the quality so far. Um, it's like the newer NW3U. I'll totally like link it down below, because you guys should totally check it out. It's pretty nice. I don't have any hair, excuse me. And I really like it. Okay, so... And I had the pop filter. I originally picked my own, but, uh, and then I showed McNasty, and he's like, uh-uh. So I had to pick a new pop filter, which I'm glad I listened, because I have no idea about tech and stuff, so I need the help. Name that, Dad. Um, Big Booty. Big Booty Eater 24-7. Did you, did you fall asleep packing? I got most of it done. <laughs> Big booty. Searching around the room, it looks like it did a pretty good job. Every box is sealed, except for one. Wait, straggler. What's in it? Looking into the box, I see a bunch of old photos in the photo albums. Whoa, I haven't seen these in years. I pull out, I pull out one of the dusty albums from the top of the pile and we begin looking through it. That's the coolest baby I've ever seen. The only way your f the only way your father and I could get you to stop crying was to put these sunglasses on you. But whenever we tried to take them off, you started crying again. Sounds like me. You spent the first two years of your life with sunglasses on. Nice. Halloween when you were maybe four. Oh my God, that dragon costume! You couldn't decide between being a princess or a dragon, so you went with both. Princess, dragon. Why do I remember crying in that dragon costume? You saw yourself in the mirror and realized you were afraid of dragons. Seeing yourself in the dragon's mouth was a realization of your greatest fear, I think. Right, yeah, definitely repressed that memory. And this was you in your horse face. Dad. I believe you named that flesh horse Sir Horsington the Brave. I don't think that was his. Amanda lunges for the photo, but I quickly snatch it away and hold it above her head with my superior dad arms. Nice try, but this is important blackmail for later down the road. Go ahead and try me. I've seen pictures of you and your ska band. Ouch, kid. The communist manifesto had a chance back in the day. I look off into the distance and reminisce about the Brad Horn section. Hey, it's Emma P. No, Dad, that's Emma R. I didn't meet Emma P until high school. Honey, I promise you wholeheartedly that I will never stop mixing those two up. Dad, Emma R has been my friend since I was seven. Give it like a little bit of effort. Alright. Er, oh, right. Emma P was the one who. Hmm. <sighs> this is more like me. I tried to. St oh, no, Dad, it, that was Emma S. She moved into Kentucky three years ago. I miss her. I also miss my hamster. Sir Hannington the Brave. 
Anyway, I gotta show this to Emma Art. Later, she'll get a kick out of it. The first photograph award you ever won. Yeah, and it got us a $20 gift card to McFridays. Oh my god, that's great. And then you got food po- Oh, and then you got food poisoning from the cheesy tostada blasts. I think you mean food poisoning, you know, with a Z. Dad? Still can't drive pack past McFridays without gagging. Still proud of you, though. Amanda reaches down into the box and pulls out the last photo. Neither of us say a word. We stare at the photo for a long moment. I finally decide to break the silence. It's kind of a funny story. We got into a car accident right there in the hospital parking lot. It wasn't anything big, it just a fender bender, but of course I was freaking out. And the little old lady who crashed into us was freaking out, and I didn't know what to do. But your father, oh man. He holds my hand and looks me directly in the eyes, the calmest I've ever seen him. He says, it's okay, it's all gonna be okay. Excuse me. He, he was right, you know. I stare at the picture for longer, maybe too long. I miss him. Oh, I can't even imagine what it's like for Amanda. She pats me on the back. Come on, Pops, we gotta finish packing. The moving van won't wait forever. You're right. Er, you're right. Okay, so let me do this really quick. I got a new keyboard to treat myself, and it was the Razer Black Widow V2 with yellow switches. Because I wanted the yellow switches because they're quiet, and I need a quiet keyboard. Amanda and I Amanda and I pile into the car and take one last look at the old house. So many memories here, hard to believe your father and I bought this place almost 20 years ago. Hey, remember when I shattered the front window playing catch? You always had very strong arms. Hey, remember when I shattered the other front window pretending to be a robot who breaks windows? You were a very imaginative child. Hey, remember when I broke the win back window plate? We get it, Amanda, you break stuff. And there's plenty more stuff for me to break in the new place. Memories to make and stuff to break. You ready? We sit in silence for a moment. I watch my daughter grow up in this house. It will forever hold a place on my heart. But it stings a little bit to leave it behind. This is starting to hurt my throat. I'm ready. The moving van begins to pull away and I get the car in the position to follow it. I watch our house, our old house, disappear in the rear view mirror. Oh, I, mirror. Yes, I'm thirsty. Where's my water bottle? So. So what? So sell me on our cool bad dad. I'm drinking a honesty. Just a tad sweet. Organic half tea and half lemonade. Not sponsored, by the way. I clear my throat and do the best cheesy announcer voice. Nestled in beautiful, beautiful downtown Maple Bay, our new house features multiple places to sleep. What a deal. I mean, if sleep weren't for the week, that sounds like me. You sleep more than anyone I know. I admit my faults, Pops. I keep it real. Anyway, it's also smaller than our last house. Why am I southern all of a sudden? Cozier, one might argue. Good spin. I think it's great. We'll maybe be closer to a lot of cool stuff that we can walk to so I don't have to waste gas. I mean, trying to park downtown is, you know. Amanda, you know you're gonna have to learn to parallel park at some point, right? Not gonna happen, Pops. I think someone used to do a three-point turn on their attitude. I don't know how to do that either. Have you met the neighbors yet? Not, not yet, but the neighborhood seems pretty quiet. So you won't have to chase any rowdy teens off your lawn? You aren't the very teen you mock when you say that, honey. I'm in my last year of high school. I'm practically dust. Yeah, you're uh, real. Don't you dare. Senior. <laughs> Funny. Dad, I know where this is going. Citizen. I'm just gonna ignore that, but I won't forget it. So it's item number one on the new house agenda. Well first, we'll need to forge a path throughout the solid walls of boxes that's blocking the living room. I still have to install the washer and dryer. We need to go grocery shopping. 
Bob, school your jets. You have to promise me that we're going to take a break and explore the neighborhood. Okay. Uh, okay, okay, you're right. We'll get some work done and then check the area out. Okay, I think I'm going to call that episode one because I want to check how everything works. And I want to keep it short to see if you guys like this kind of stuff. It's kind of new, but why not? I hope you all have a lovely, lovely, lovely night. 